What's up guys, it's Robo Freak here again. And this is video number four in the uh, serial controlled stepper motor series. Uh, this is the same stepper motor. There's been a few hardware modifications. Uh, the code on the Arduino is the same. And the only real difference in this video is that I'm going to show you the published software that you can download on the computer and run it, which will allow you to control the uh, stepper motor from the computer. Uh, assuming that you put my Arduino code on it. Um, let's look at the hardware mods before we go to the computer. I have the Arduino. The uh, easy driver is right there. And on top is two heat sinks. Underneath those heat sinks is two drops of Arctic Silver Thermal Compound that help uh, transfer heat between the chip and the heat tank, and they're secured by tape. The tape is not super strong, but it's enough to hold two very light heat sinks on. And then there's the fan, which blows air through the heat sinks and keeps them very cool. Uh, you don't need the fan. Without the fan, uh, the heat sinks are warm. Right now, they're room temperature. They're actually kind of cold. It's like if you put your hand in front of the fan. It's pretty cold. You can see it's actually cold. Um, but this keeps the chips very cool and it will increase their lifespan as well as let you run it continuously so you could run this all day. Uh, separate motor is the same. It is, in fact, juiced up right now. You can't move the shaft. Uh, the power supply was changed. It is now a 12 volt wall power supply. And if you want to know how long this thing has been running continuously, 54 minutes and 10 seconds. Yeah, that's right. 54 minutes and it's cold. So heat sinks really do help. And I would recommend doing something very similar to this. Uh, you can get the heat sinks out of most like little electronics. You just take a small one and then chop a piece off with a little chip. Uh, put a big heat sink on the bigger chip and um, you can get arctic silver radio shack and it comes in a very small syringe it's very nice just put a drop no more than a drop on each chip and uh, it'll work fine so let's check out the software side here is the folder let me close it uh, it comes as a single folder called stepping program it should be compressed when you get it. Just uncompress it, and you should have the uncompressed stepping program folder. Open it, and there's going to be application files folder. There's going to be uh, two files. You want to double click on setup, just like a normal program. It's going to launch the application, and it's going to say that I'm an unverified publisher, yada, yada, yada. It's a security warning. Just click install. And it'll install as a program. That, and you can go to start and then all programs and I will my program will show up as stepper program then you can just click on it and this is what will open it's the same as last time I've added my name my YouTube page uh, that's just the credit program to me I will post the source code so you can feel free to remove that and change it but once you once you change it and then you've actually changed it yourself so you made it but I made this, so you can use it, but give me credit for making the demo program. So the direction is forward. Uh, we'll go 1600 micro steps, which is one revolution. It's also down there. Um, the precise speed actually works. Now, so you check the box, enter in like 500. We also have to open the port. I haven't done that yet. And we should be ready to go. I'm going to go backwards one revolution. So, that's pretty much it. And I hope you guys enjoy my software. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I'll have more videos. If you have any questions about this, I'll be glad to answer them. Just send them. But, overall, I hope you liked the uh, stepper motor. See you guys later.